Today we're diving into the latest release from Uphold, and it's called the Uphold Vault. So Vault is targeting a very small and niche area of custody. And I think loads of people in this community are gonna get benefit from what Vault have to offer. I might even go as far as to say that the solutions that you've had currently to this date in your crypto journey are simply just not as good as what Vault is offering right here. So I'm gonna break it down into why you should care, how it works, and whether I think you should be using it. So first things first, what is Vault? And I want you to try and imagine this. You've got centralized exchanges, like with the likes of Binance or Coinbase, and then you've got complete self-custody over on the other side. It's like those two have come together and had a baby. So you've got the ease of use from a centralized exchange type of user interface all the way through to the security of a self-custody solution. And the secret source to all of this is called multi-sig. When something is multi-sig, it means you need multiple signatures to verify any given transaction. Now, there are three signatories on the Uphold Vault. Two of them are you, and one of them is Uphold. And that means, and this is completely groundbreaking, even if Uphold went bankrupt and they ceased existing, your assets would still be secure and you would have access to them. I really want to emphasize the idea that Vault is actually completely different to Uphold. It's a product by Uphold, but it will be a different app. It will integrate with different wallets and will have nothing to do with the Uphold app, with the exception of it being massively interoperable when you're using the Vault app to move funds to your Uphold account. It's going to feel like an Uphold app, but it's just going to be the Vault app and you'll easily be able to switch in between Uphold but equally, you'll also be able to move to other wallets as well. Now, I had the pleasure in actually going through a demo of using the app, and it was absolutely fascinating, unbelievable, so easy to use. And the process to set it up is super easy as well. So in the setup process, it really is just a few touches of different buttons. You create your keys and it will store them. You have to re-input them so that you have verified that you've got them. You save those to the iCloud. Two of them are yours and one of them is Uphold. And as I said, when you're using this app, moving funds, which I did on the demo, and I'll show you on the screen here, when you move these assets from Vault to Uphold, it really is like two clicks. It's super simple. It integrates perfectly with the Uphold app. So especially when you talk about custody solutions like PolySign, for example, where it's also multi-sig, there's a barrier to entry for PolySign because you have to have a certain amount of assets to even be able to custody there. And it's also significantly less liquid. It's its own thing. When you need to sign off transactions, you have to have the majority of signatories signed on your PolySign account. Then you've got to wait for things to happen. Then you've got to wait for things to be approved and all of that kind of stuff. And it's actually very slow and makes the money illiquid. But with this, what I'm saying is seconds later from your fully secure custody solution in Vault, you can have your assets back in your Uphold app in seconds. It's, it's really, really cool. It's a way of sending your assets to a self-custody location. It's a multi-sig wallet. You, the user, hold two keys. We hold one key. If you lose one of your keys, you can come back to uh, Uphold, put your remaining key together with our key to create a brand new key. It's not a replacement key, it's a brand new key. I mean, the, our design goals were number one, ultimate security of customer assets. Number two, survivability. So even if the Uphold app is down or God forbid Uphold goes away at some point in the future, you're in control of your assets. You can move them without any recourse or dependence on us. But one feature that caught my eye was something called the key health check. So Vault at this point is babysitting your keys. You've got them stored out in different locations. Let's talk about babysitting. Let's say the babysitter in this situation has 
the baby monitor looking in at the baby, making sure the baby's okay. And the baby monitor, let's say, will alert you if the baby puts its blanket over its head or something, right? It gives you an alert. The baby's okay, but you need to make sure you're paying attention so that you can go up and fix it. This is what the key health check is like. So remember I talked about in the process, you save your keys to the iCloud. Well, in the demo, I went over to my iCloud and my files section and deleted my keys. I then went back to the Vault app and it showed me a yellow symbol. That yellow symbol was saying, we've only got partial data for your keys. Let, we need to generate new keys, essentially. So it's as easy as that. You generate new keys, the light goes to green to say you're fully secure now, and then it's re-updated in iCloud, therefore securing your assets 100% through that little health check system. And I wanna emphasize again, Uphold, don't control your keys. You have all of the power in this custody solution. The only difference is, is that it's not complex to understand. You don't have to go through this complex setup and press buttons on your ledger. You don't have to do any of that. So you have the ease of use that these massive companies, these centralized exchanges have, but all of the security that you get with personal self-custody. In addition, you don't have to keep thinking about what your keys are, store those away, or get a, a steel plate to etch your keys on, which I have, right? <laughs> I have that currently. You don't have to have all of that. It's stored and you can back them up and you can generate new keys whenever you need to. Looking at this solution, you'd think, wow, this is really amazing. I don't have to, like if I want to tell my grandma about crypto, I now have the relief that I don't have to take her through that whole process of setting up a ledger now, we can just go onto this app and it's a few buttons. So because this offering is, I think, just game changing and very valuable, let's get into the pricing. Now, Vault is not designed to break the bank. If you look at Uphold in general, their whole customer base, they're not looking to alienate people, right? They're looking to include as many people as possible. This is about bringing in the new wave of custody from the retail environment into that ultra secure environment to where now people are gonna be custodying their assets in the most secure way, but with the ease of use and accessibility that the retail need without the technical knowledge. In a way, this is actually adoption taking place right in front of our eyes. I said this maybe over a year and a half ago or something. I said, what we need right now is less barrier to entry from a technical standpoint in crypto right now. We need the ability for people who don't know about crypto to come in and just use an app and have their assets completely secure. That's what this is. It's just happening slowly. I think this is quite a big launch, to be honest, but it's steps like this, big or small, that make the difference in the end. So having talked with Uphold, I know that the price per month isn't set. You'll actually be able to see the price for this custody solution. And the way they wanted to position it was, you know, this is less than a couple of coffees a month to have this ultra high grade custody solution that also relieves you and gives you the convenience to be able to move assets in a very secure way and very easy way from custody into a tradable environment like Uphold. So the price per month isn't set, but there is gonna be a monthly and an annual fee. You'll be able to see that if you click the link in the description, Vault has released now, so you'll be able to see all of that information. But I'd estimate probably anywhere between kind of four to six pounds or dollars per month. And I'm sure there'll be a percentage off if you buy the annual plan. So the question is really, how much value do you put on a custody solution that is liquid and also gives you all of the authority in that solution as well. Uphold in this project are not trying to alienate people who have very small portfolios. They're doing their best to make this as accessible to the vast majority of people as possible. And it's important to point out that this custody solution at launch is XRP only. That's great for us because the vast majority of us have the vast majority of our portfolios in XRP but they are going to consistently work to release new custody solutions within Vault for different cryptocurrencies. And all they're doing basically is tweaking their features to give the community what they want. Uh, initially, we're launching with XRP because that's where our biggest community is and we want to serve those, those folks first. Uh, in Q1 next year, we're adding Bitcoin. Um, and then we're adding some of the more... Um, some of the more exotic and interesting networks we're adding, uh, we're planning to add XDC, which is the trade finance token, Great. the trade finance project. Uh, we're planning to add CASPA, the, the payments, uh, a very interesting project, uh, an acyclical DAG combined with blocks, you know, super interesting technology. So what am I going to do? What's, what's my whole situation? I've been, I've been thinking about this. 
And having talked with the people who've made this app and also the CEO of Uphold, who the full interview, which you've seen clips in this video, the full interview of my interview with Simon McLaughlin, the CEO of Uphold is gonna come out tomorrow. So make sure you watch that in full. We talk about this and much more about uh, Uphold and their plans for the future and their Ripple partnership. But Vault's role in my custody solution outlook it's, it's really disruptive. It's really disrupting my plans, right? So as it stands right now, I have some on cold storage wallet. I have a tiny amount on an exchange being uphold and that's my XDC, but I have the vast majority of what I hold in PolySign. And as I mentioned in this video, PolySign's a institutional grade custody solution, but really it's quite difficult to use and it's, uh, it's illiquid. It's not very easy to move my money. So the way that Vault is positioned for me is, well, now I've got to have various different bags. I've got to have a bag that absolutely cannot go anywhere. I need it to be illiquid. I might need to borrow from it. I might need to do all kinds of stuff with delegate and all that kind of stuff from that account. That'll stay in my poly sign. I'll also have some that stays in cold storage because it's a skill I have. I know how to use cold storage wallets. New entrants to the market might not necessarily know that, but I do, so I'm gonna keep some there. Then ultimately what's gonna happen is that the rest of my assets, just for diversification of risk, are gonna be in Vault. I mean, 100% I am using Vault. Um, and as of today, as it's just come out, I am already registered with Vault, <laughs> right? It's very exciting for me to see this custody solution come out. And I will say, you know, just from having gone through it, we'll have to see how this thing plays out over time and, uh, and analyze it from that bird's eye view. But as it stands right now with my understanding of Vault, you know, when people ask me, where should I store my XRP? There's my answer, it's in Vault. So I don't know if I could talk any more highly <laughs> of a product. I love Uphold, I love the people at Uphold, and I think Vault hits a niche and a demand in the custody solution space that nobody has hit yet. Super easy to use and complete self-custody without the need for technical understanding and cold storage wallets that are fiddly and annoying. Now, if by some reason you are unaware of Uphold to this point, which is gonna be hard to believe, there is a link in the description where you can register for Uphold. And from there, you can go over and see all about their Vault offering. The link that you will click is an affiliate link, so I do get something from you clicking that. So if you do decide to register with Uphold and look into Vault, please consider hitting my link. It would be greatly appreciated. So that's Vault. What do you think? I think, I think it's incredible. I really, really do. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Have you started with it? Are you considering it? Please ask your questions below. Like I said, I talked with the team about this at length. I could probably help to answer many of the questions that you have about Vault. Leave those questions in the comments. We are looking at every comment. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. We're growing very fast. We're approaching 100,000. I hope we can get there very, very soon. Even by the end of the year, it might be a bit adventurous, but... Anyway, remember to subscribe with the notification bell on to see the Uphold interview that we've got tomorrow with Simon McLaughlin, the CEO of Uphold, to talk all about Vault and much more. Stay emotionless, and I'll see you in the next one.